Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Factorio Plus Plus video, episode 17. And you can see since last episode, I just have extended the belts, I've cut down the trees, extended this belt, and I'm now ready to. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna make a better military science build because this is the spaghetti build I told you is temporary, and I will deliver on that promise. I'm, I'm sorry that. The beloved spaghetti build is going away, but that's this new build is gonna be way more efficient with with it. So it's really not that bad. So yeah, I I, I am getting rid of these. Um, say say goodbye to all this. Um, this will be used for a mall later on. Um, a mall is essentially like where it's it's like usually you're producing low quantities of many many different types of items that's what a mall is so yeah i do not need any of this almost nothing here i actually need like i i can i can save so many resources by just doing like just getting rid of all of these now unnecessary um like underground belts and everything My inventory is almost full. I'm, I'm so glad that I'm that I did not get an extra stack of um, of these drones because I think it's 100 per stack, and I I think I'm still gonna, gonna run out of inventory space. This may be the first time I run of it out of inventory space on this series, which is interesting. Actually, but it, it looks like I'm actually okay. I have only one to spare. So I could even get rid of this. I feel like this is actually a little close to, yeah, okay. I, I will run out of in inventory space. It's not like, yeah, I, I, boom. There's the first running out of inventory space. Which means I gotta make room. You can see how much junk is in my inventory. There's two cut run fair ore for some reason. There's stretch night ore, there's Carfetine ore, there's copper ore, there's a ton of coal. I can probably just craft a couple grenades and that will... That'll... Still full. I, I guess I'm just going to keep crafting grenades because that's the best I can do. And just getting rid of all this. And I'm going to actually have the room to build more stuff here. So this time I'm gonna start at the beginning and end at the end. So the, th the three things I need are these, these, and these. And remember to make military science, it is two walls. So like if I want the, the two belts, um, one will be of these and these, and the other will be of um, just the walls. So the piercing rounds are the hardest things to make. And the real problem is that it's like three seconds crafting time for this and one of the regular firearm magazines, which you need to make that, which means your proper ratio is one to three, which is kind of awkward because it's kind of hard to split into three without it looking ugly. And I guess it'll, it'll, it will look ugly, but it will be functional. Another thing I can actually do at this point, before I start the build, is I can finally start building a road. And this is... What I mean by a road is... I have, enough, I have these stone bricks. And you can just place them down. And you can walk faster when you're... You can walk faster and drive faster. When you're... And you're just on it. So, that's useful. And also, it's a good... Helps me mark where... Like, I actually want to... Be... Um... Like it, it marks where I wanna, where I want the underground belts to go under. So the first thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need just iron, and this iron I could probably just do this to, to split off the iron. And did I place this one too high? If I did, no, I, I didn't place a one too. I I would have been so triggered because removing 
this is extremely tedious. So if you mess up, you gotta. If you want to mess up and, and if you mess up and you have to just re rebuild it, it wastes like three minutes to just get rid of the top layer of this. But no, luckily I did not mess up. So probably what I want to do is I want to do something like this. So this will be the the one the firearm magazine that I will I'll place do it like this and then I will do this and place a wooden chest here it could be anything honestly um, but I kind of just like having a chest and then I could just power this up this will be um, the red ammo and actually I have, I have enough red ammo in my inventory that um, I can just like place all of this ammo in and then I can just put the ammo here and I, I still have 15 spare which is kind of annoying but this is just more powerful when I'm facing with biters so yeah that'll be useful I may even want two inserters here or actually I probably just want fast inserters I think I even need two fast inserters at this point because I don't have any um, inserter stack capacity, which you'll see that'll be a thing later on. The other thing we need here is both copper and steel. And this will be the output line. So I guess I guess what I can do is that copper can go here, steel can go here, and it's really not it's not difficult to build this. So input will go here, output will go here. And I mean this, I'm not quite sure if this is going to be enough. I think this will be enough for now, but I, it'll definitely be expandable in the future. And you can just see, like this is why I want to get rid of this cut run fair ore. You see how close my bus is to the cut run fair already. So you can now see I'm, I'm making um, these, which is good. Now I'm gonna want to make the um, the grenades, and that's just iron and coal. It's not difficult to make at all. I'm, prob I'm probably just gonna do it like this. I'm just gonna place three for now, but I th I could increase this in the future. It'll probably be like a it'll be a belt of iron going this way. Um, I can I can just do this, and again just use undergrounds like this to split off from here, and then this will this will get, make the iron go over to the to these. And this will be coal, which is yeah, it's right here, which means I do I do need to do a little bit a few more undergrounds, but I I have so many undergrounds from the spaghetti build that it's it's barely anything and boom so this is now all I need is the inserters which will go in like this and I guess I'll do it like this because I'll, I'll eventually be preparing for a having four um, instead of three here and then um, just do this and Oh, this research finished. Yay, I can finally try to start researching carpeting and processing. Also, wait. Uh, I've been using my loud keyboard for the past two episodes. i got to switch over to the quiet one. Always forget about this. I'm, I'm so sorry to all my viewers that have to deal with this. Um, but the, the mechanical keyboard is so much better than the quiet one. And, boom, now I have the grenades. And now all I need is the stone bricks. Okay, I need to unfortunately get rid of some more... I need to get rid of some more cliffs first. If I want to um, get those stone bricks to make walls. This is why I have so many grenades. Okay, I won't be using all of like that, but I'll be using many of them to make more cliff explosives. I actually have an idea. Um, and this is to reverse the direction of this belt, and then um, this should be a, a little bit 
closer to the bus so I can provide why is there copper on the wrong side here so I can do this and then I'm actually going to um, do this and this will eventually merge with the um, or not it won't merge but it'll meet up with the wall belt and then they will eventually they'll, they'll be used for the military science so yeah, I could do this and okay, here are the cliffs I need to explode and I, I can just I want to make this consistent it's actually here since these are literally right next to each other um, I want to do it like this and this actually works I like how, how dense I'm making this build because currently space is at a premium. This won't be won't be the case when I can actually get rid of all the stuff that's blocking my bus. It's just like this is just like a consistent problem in this series. Um, my bus just being blocked. So this will be also reverse direction, um, just so I can. I can meet them up like this. Actually, no, I don't even need it to be reverse direction. I could just do this. Uh, uh, no, actually, I want it to be reverse direction because the, the stuff that actually makes the military science will be right here. And just let's explode some more cliffs that are on the way. Again, this doesn't extend very far, but this will eventually start extending quite far once like this build is actually... Like once I start producing more and more military science, this will last me until the late game. So it'll again, it'll just be six um, total assembling machines. It doesn't really matter which belt goes where. So I'll just do this. I guess I can make it eight just to be more even with everything. That's actually what I want to do. I I, I want to make everything that's not the have these um, four just because it's just way more even and it's just more convenient this way like when I eventually want to expand the build and again now I need inserters um, I, yeah, I think I could just get away with this using slow inserters slow inserters use like less electricity I can actually do it like this where I have two slow inserters per um, assembling machine and this it's not quite as fast as a single fast inserter, but it uses less electricity. So yeah, I'll definitely take that. I'm and when you use le less electricity, you create less pollution, which means less spider attacks. Like you might have noticed that I'm not. Hopefully, I'm not going to jinx this, but there's been very few biter attacks in this series. And what I'm I think the way I'm doing this is is, is I am keeping pollution low. Eventually, when you get to the later game, you, you can't you can't afford to keep pollution low if you want to like really start expanding the factory, and that's but it, but by that by that by that point you'll have much more sophisticated defense. So, let's see military science, um, just do it like this, and then I can I can meet these up. I probably want to craft bunch of belts here um, because this will extend fairly far uh, I'm definitely gonna need well first actually I don't know why this isn't um, connected yet and then I yeah I just want to get this going and now I'm actually gonna be able to produce stuff I'm just gonna connect it with this belt at this point, like by mer by merging this using a splitter, and oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. So this will definitely be quite useful, and this will I can actually start producing military science, and I can get rid of some of this random stuff that I have but I don't need, like this. And, okay, I just need one more 
small electric pole, and the new, much cleaner military science build is done. There's a couple of other things I do want to do, and one of those things is actually expanding them on the road, because the road is kind of small right now, or it's, it's not that long, and once the road just gets to be, like, I, because the thing is that traveling is very slow, and the road's 30% bonus in transport speeds is going to help so much. Um, I don't know why there's no underground belt here. I must have just been like out of underground belts or something, and I was too lazy to make more, so... Yeah, there's that, but I'm just going to do this, continue building the road. There is trees in the way currently, but yeah, they'll just be chopped down like this. And I don't, I don't really know where the road's going to go after this point, but at least it'll be there. I guess I could just like expand it like this. I, I, this is kind of stupid. I don't really need... I, I don't I don't need to be like this. Um, I yeah I def definitely got too much. Actually I probably didn't get too much. I could just expand it to the west. That's probably a better idea. It's also way more like future proof. It's not just future proof. It's doing what I would have done in the future. You can just see how useful having a car is. Um, just with vehicle snap, which means you can just you can just do it the easy way, because with, without vehicle snap, you wouldn't be aligned to the grid, and it would make this really annoying. But with vehicle snap, it's just so much better. That's why I use that mod. So yeah, that's about it for this episode. Next episode, I'm actually gonna start trying to make red circuits. Even though I don't even think I've unlocked them yet. I think this is red circuits, but red circuits. You need so much of them, and I mean they're they're fairly expensive to make, and they take a lot of time to make. But the real thing with red circuits is that you need so many of them that you need an enormous build to make them. So yeah, that will be next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.